This is 128th Street in Surrey, where on Thursday morning at 9.30, a man was shot and killed in what police are calling a targeted shooting. Now, the integrated homicide investigation team is saying the victim was one of the men acquitted in the trial of the Air India bombing, which happened in 1985. In a post on Facebook, family identifies the victim as Raputaman Singh Mullik. The RCMP says this appears to have been a targeted shooting, and they believe whoever is responsible got away in another vehicle, which was found on fire in the area of 82nd Avenue, east of 120th Street. Narinder Kaur came to the scene after hearing reports Mullik, who founded the Khalsa School, had been killed. He has promoted school. He has promoted businesses. Basically, for the community, it is a very, 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 very setback. Mullik and another man were acquitted of murder and conspiracy charges during the 2005 trial of the bombing. The Air India bombing on June 23, 1985, killed 280 Canadians, including 86 children flying on Flight 182, headed from Toronto to London. The bomb detonated, and the plane exploded mid-air and crashed near Ireland, killing all 329 people on board. Dr. Chandrima Chakraborty wrote a book on the tragedy in 2017. The bombing was a Canadian tragedy, largest mass murder in Canadian history. This was followed by a federal government public apology. But despite all of that, this is a little remembered event in Canada. She says the bombing resulted in the largest and most expensive criminal trial in Canadian history, but still failed to find a place in the country's cultural consciousness because the wider public viewed it as a case of immigrants bringing foreign feuds to Canada. I don't think for the public it resulted in a recognition that this was Canada's tragedy. This bombing was planned, executed in Canada, and the people who died as a result of the bombing were primary. Canadians. In his post on Facebook, Malik's son says his father was dedicated to the community, but added the media will always refer to him as someone charged with the Air India bombing. He was wrongly charged and the court concluded there was no evidence against him. In the trial of the accused, another man, Inderjeet Singh Rayat, was convicted. He was sentenced in 2010 to nine years for committing perjury at Malik's trial and released from prison in 2016. Rayat also pled guilty to manslaughter for his role in the bombing. IHIT has now taken over the case, and no arrests have been made just yet. In Surrey, Kir Junos, City News.